What is going on guys? This is Caleb from anewexpression.net where we help you become your greatest self. Now we are out today in the beautiful weather in PA and I wanted to record this video because I wanted to talk about a topic and that topic is confidence. Now what is confidence? How can we apply confidence in our day-to-day -day lives and why is it so important? Now I'm sure a lot of you guys know what confidence is, but like everyone has a different understanding to what confidence is. For me, I know I had a lot of definitions. I had a lot of things that I associated with confidence. For example, back like in high school, middle school, I thought confidence was just being able to pick up girls, right? Or being able to talk to people in a loud manner or I was I was always <clears throat> either had to be the social the most social guy or had to be the most funny guy in, in the room and I had to grasp everyone's attention and whoever could grasp that attention was the most confident person in the room <clears throat> and so I had a lot of definitions for confidence and I was really struggling with my own confidence I was struggling with my own confidence in social situations and business manners and, and a lot of things. I had a low sense of confidence. And it played out in all areas of my life. I remember playing sports and I had that same low level of confidence. And really it all stemmed from my beliefs. It all stemmed from what was happening in my psychology. Confidence is something that comes from within. It's not something that you exert. It's not this state pump that you get yourself in. It's not your ego. It's it's from within. It's it comes from a deep understanding of who you are. You know, true confidence, true confidence, and not that fake confidence cuz I feel like you know there's a lot of people that portray confidence. They want to act like they are confident because of how they want to be perceived by other people. But true confidence isn't about acting confident. It's not about trying to portray yourself as a confident person, but it's really deep, deep inside, you're truly confident with yourself. It's not you try to act a certain way. It's not you trying to be a certain way. It's just who you are as a person. And that's what true confidence is. It com so I was, as I was saying before, I got interrupted by everyone that was mowing their lawns and doing all of that. Was I think I was talking about true confidence and what that is, right? Because we have a lot of definitions for confidence, and I feel like a lot of people try to portray a fake confidence. They're not really confident in themselves with all aspects of themselves. That means confidence means not just having all these good qualities, not having everything going for you, but being able to realize that you're like any other human being. You have flaws, you have things that you might not like about yourself, but you're human. And where confidence plays a factor in all of this is where you're able to look at those flaws, look at the things that you don't like about yourself, the things that you're insecure about, things that you're anxious about, the things that you fear, and being able to accept that. Not trying to run away from it, not trying to hide it, not trying to deny the fact that you even have an insecurity or a fear, but being able to realize that you do have it, that we're all human, and being able to accept it. That's true confidence, not trying to run away from it, not trying to say that you're a perfect person, that you don't have any fears, that you don't have any insecurities, that you're this person that everyone should approve of and everyone should like. It's not about that. It's being able to realize that you have these flaws, everyone has these things that they don't like about themselves, but being able to be okay with that. It's true confidence. Being able to be grounded with who you are as a person is true confidence. 
And I see this whenever I go to parties, whenever I go to social outings, I see, and I'm guilty of this myself. So I'm not saying that I'm perfect at this, but I'm saying that this is something that I'm catching onto and I'm aware of in these kind of social situations. And that's when people try to either be this confident person, right? They try to portray being this confident person, talking loud, being talkative, being funny, being loud, being this wanted person, being this person that is able to be approved of. And you, you see it at parties all the time. That's why people are so obnoxious at parties. They try to, you know, put themselves out there to try to be the most loud person in the room. And they, because they want to be approved. That's the reason why they're so obnoxious. That's the reason why they're being so loud is because they want to be accepted. They want to be seen as a certain image, as a certain person. But a true confident person knows that confidence comes from within. They don't try to find their confidence by being accepted by other people. They know that they're in control of their own confidence. That their own confidence means that they're able to accept themselves first before trying to be this image that they're not trying to be accepted by other people from being this image when they're not even that image. So true confidence is knowing who you are as a person, knowing who, you know, you know everything about yourself, knowing your fears, your insecurities, and being okay with that, living into that, breathing into that. Realizing that's part of you. And that's not, I'm not, not to say that your insecurities and your fears are, are, are you. They're not you. They're not who you are. They're just things that you started to believe in. And that's why you have them. But understanding that you have that belief as of right now and being okay with that. Not trying to run away from it. Not trying to deny the fact that you have it. But being okay with that and in that kind of state, in that kind of mindset, you're able to really switch the gears and you're really to, uh, able to attack the problem in a different manner. So confidence comes from within. It's not, it's not something that you try to act. You don't try to act being confident. If you try to act being confident, if you try to portray yourself as this confident person, you're never going to truly be confident. Because real confidence isn't an act. It's who you are as a person. It's not you trying to be a certain person. It's not you trying to finally act like a confident person. It's grounding yourself and really finding who you are. And in that position, in that situation, you are confident because you know who you are. And you've accepted it and you acknowledged the things that you don't like about yourself, the things that you try to run away from. And you accept them, and therefore, you're confident because you... It's not that you're trying to hide anything. It's not like you're trying to portray to be somebody that you're not. You're who you are as a person, and you're putting that out for everyone else. And if people don't like that, then that doesn't matter because... You're your own self. There's going to be people that don't like you. There's going to be people that love you. That has nothing to do with you. You are your own self. And that's true confidence for you guys. And that is what I wanted to portray and share with you guys in this video. Because I feel, I feel as if everyone's trying to act confident. Everyone's trying to be this, you know, like a movie actor in a movie. They try to express this kind of emotion. They try to play out this character. They try to play out a certain role. And I feel like we're all trying to be that way just so that we're accepted by other people. But if we really want to find that confidence, if we really want to find true confidence, true self-growth within ourselves, we have to stop playing a role. We have to stop playing a character. And we have to really find out who we are as a person and really find that true inner confidence within ourselves. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys got something out of that. I hope you guys have a better understanding to what true confidence is. Because I know 
I had a lot of definitions, I had a lot of misinterpretations of what true confidence really was. So I hope you, I hope you guys got some value out of that. I hope that helped you guys. If you guys got some value out of that, like the video, subscribe to this channel if you guys want more content. Remember that change happens only with a new expression. And enough of this long rant. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.